A Facebook executive was arrested in Brazil. The company failed to give up WhatsApp user data for drug trafficking investigations. So what are the broader implications here in light of Apple's ongoing dispute with the FBI here in the United States? Joining us now to talk all about it is Dynalink CEO Larry Fischelson. And Larry, from a more global perspective, what does Facebook's failure to provide these data really say about the tech sector overall and compliance with government investigations? What's the landscape shaping up to be, globally speaking? Well, Dominic, thanks for having me. The landscape here is that it should be able to be gotten by all law enforcement across the world. Tech companies have the info and they should comply and, and, and they're going to have to eventually comply. It's, 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 it's going to come down to laws across the world. I own a phone company. I get subpoenas all the time. I have to hand over that information. So the information is there for social media companies. They just have to hand it over. And there's a difference between having pure privacy, which of course everyone has. But when you get subpoenas to help law enforcement, it needs to start being turned over. So there is a line. In essence, you can't, what your view is, is that you can't just have full on privacy without any kind of government oversight or intervention whatsoever. So here's the question. Yeah. Can tech companies like Facebook and Apple right now provide all of the information that investigators want from a technological standpoint? There's a question about whether or not you, are, you should be allowed to create some of these back doors or, or, or keys, if you will, to allow certain people or certain governments or, or, or agencies to access hardware or software in certain circumstances? Absolutely. First off, there's a rule of law. So we all live in a world of law. So if, if there's criminal investigations, things do need to be handed over. Now that said, there are ways of getting into these encryptions. So WhatsApp, this stuff is on the server. So even, it, even though it goes out through ciphertext gobbledygook that mixes it up so nobody could see it out there, it's stored on the server. Everything that goes over the internet is stored on the server. So it's there. There are back doors to get into and tech companies don't have to use the back door and hand it over to governments, their secret. You know, Apple keeps their secrets very secret. Obviously, we, we never find out about their new products until the day they come out. So if they can keep that secret, they can obviously keep their backdoor secret. But they need to be there. We're in a world of laws here. All right. So all right, then let's let's go another step here. What's your stance on giving up user information for government investigations overall? We've kind of we, we know that you're there. But what do you say? to privacy advocates, right? Civil liberties advocates who say that this is very much an issue of a slippery slope, and if you do this, what's to allow all this other data not to be accessed in the, in the future going forward? But, but here, here's the issue. We're in a world of the internet. The internet is a business. Everyone's out there on the internet. It's so, I mean, nothing technically is private. Now, obviously the stuff that you do is private, but it's no different than you can't just go ahead and hand over somebody's phone calls without a subpoena, without a court order. So if you're doing something on the internet, which you're out there doing, if you're doing nothing wrong, you have nothing to worry about. But if there are criminal investigations, we're in a world of laws, they should be able to ha be handed over just like we do in the telecom business. Nobody's looking to go out there and just say, let's go into everybody's privacy. Of course you have to have privacy, but what's going on here now is you're taking it, social media is new and all these apps are new, but this is nothing new in the telecom world of subpoenas and issues with criminal investigations. It's no different. Well, what it, what it goes to show you, Larry, is that this is a raging debate, not just here in the U.S. with Apple, but now also in offshore markets as well for a lot of different tech companies. This is certainly not the last I'm sure we'll be hearing about this story. Larry Fischelson, thank you so much for joining us here. And thanks for watching. I'm Dominic Chu. Have a great day. Hey, YouTube fans. I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.